For me, a trip to Shetland really must mean a trip out on a boat on a fine day. So I head down to Lerick Harbour and catch up with Above Water, Underwater Shetland. I'm Robbie Shof Enger. And Alan Longmuir. This year we're offering four different tours to our customers. Our specialty, if you like, is underwater Shetland, although having said that, of course, during our cruises we will see everything above the water. We'll see almost all of Shetland's breeding seabirds. We will see seals. The other day we saw some nesics, or harbour porpoise, which are quite rare nowadays. And if we're really, really lucky, then we might get something with a bigger fin on its back. We don't promise that, of course. Now, can you take me through the four tours that you operate? Well, our principal tour is really our Discovery Wildlife Adventure Tour. That's a three-hour tour. We cruise in the sheltered waters of Bresse Sound. We'll go north and south, maybe north to the Score Point at the north end of Bresse. We'll go south to the Giant's Leg. We might stop in the Orkneyman's Cave for a dive with our ROV, our remote-operated vehicle camera, where we can show people the underwater world. Along the way, we talk about history, culture, geology, bits and pieces. And, of course, we focus also very much on seals, the harbour seals, the grey seals and all the seabirds as well as the scenery. We also have a three and a half hour Noss Cliffs wildlife tour. You get all the sights and sounds of our discovery tour plus a visit to the seabird colonies at Noss Cliffs. On both of those tours we have a dive at two different locations with our camera because we like to have two different habitats. We get very, very different animals at the different habitats and we like to show as much of a range of animals and marine life as we possibly can. And Robbie, can you explain to me how vibrant the sea life is below the water? Well, it really is quite surprising. When you look at the water, let's be frank, it's not very interesting. It's, it's grey, it's dull. But the reason for that is the reason why it's so rich under the water. There's so many storms, but it churns the water up. So they're very, very tiny air bubbles, which means small animals that are less than a millimetre big, which we can actually see with our camera, and, and larger animals. For example, we get some large sea stars, some sun stars that have, I think the biggest one we saw had 25 arms. We get little squat lobsters. We get corals, we get hard corals, we get soft corals. Just amazing life. And sometimes when people see our brochure, they say, ah, have you not photoshopped the colors here? No, surprisingly, it's incredibly colorful as well. And how many people can you accommodate on your tours? Well, we're licensed for 12 people, and for our summer dim evening cruise, we think the more the merrier, so we'll have up to 12 people. It makes it quite a small, intimate tour for, for people to come on so that they can really get to experience all the knowledge that you have. That's right. It's a little bit more comfortable, and as you say, it's much more intimate and personal. If you get a little bit of advance notice, then you're able to do something a little bit special for the children. That's right. Besides having some entertaining things inside in our cabin, we also have a, an aquarium out aft on our back deck. And we can put animals in there, maybe sea urchin, sea star, a moon jelly. So if we have, say, 24 hours notice that we'll have children aboard, we'll just pop the animals in. And then during the tour, they can have a look at that. After the tour, they'll help us let them go back into the sea. You have plans to develop your business further, don't you? Can you tell me a little bit about that? I'm a qualified snorkel instructor and we have plans on offering snorkel instruction, snorkel excursions and also renting out equipment for people who want to test out a little bit or perhaps tourists who come up who hadn't thought about snorkeling around Shetland. With the right equipment, and you don't really need a heavy wetsuit, five mils will do, with the right equipment it's actually quite comfortable to go snorkeling in Shetland's waters. But a little bit of training is, of course, an advantage. It makes it safer, it makes it more efficient, and a, a better trip for everyone.